ABC 7 Culinary Director Judy Gallagher is joining lunch today at the Metro Diner in Sarasota, and she joins us live now with more. Hi, Judy. Connecticut. All my relatives are from New York, so we grew up with these great diners. So that memory is back with this new Metro Diner. I'm so excited to be here today. My waistline isn't as excited, but yes, there are some options. You can eat a healthier lunch. That's not why we're here, though, today. We're going to talk about chicken and waffles, and we're going to talk about pot roast and meatloaf, and all those things that make us feel good. Here in the weather report, we might need some comfort this weekend, and heck, you can power walk the center and side when you're done. So stay with me throughout the hour as we come to you from Metro Diner, right here on what they're now called the Siesta Key Plaza for Westfield. I'm so excited. It is so tasteful, and it's going to be really hard to wait the hour to tuck in. We'll be back in just a few minutes to bring you a lot more. Okay, welcome back. And I'm here with the managing partner, Mark, at Metro Diner. Mark, I don't know how you do it every day and stay slim. It's a lot of laps around the mall. That's, I like it. A lot of walking around. Tell us about Metro Diner. Sure. Uh, Metro Diner uh, originated in Jacksonville. That's where our original diner is. Uh, the original building it's in um, has been around since 1938. It, wow. be it became Metro Diner in 1992. And then our founders, uh, the Davoli family, took it over in 2001 and have built it to what it is today. We've got 38 locations right now. That's amazing, but each one really feels kind of like your neighborhood diner, right? It's your, yeah, it's your local spot. It's uh, our, our logos where the locals eat. That's our slogan. So. Now, without getting into too much detail, because we're going to be talking about what I'm having for lunch in a few minutes, tell us about what, food-wise, what can people expect and, and what what are the specialties that maybe you can get in a diner that you can't get elsewhere? Sure, and what we do, we, we call our food comfort food with flair. We do comfort food, but we do a little bit of flair, um, as we'll talk about in a little bit. But we do our, you know, good southern cooking, our meatloaf, our pot roast, our chicken pot pie. Uh, we do breakfast all day. You can come in at 7 a.m. and get an omelet or 7 p.m. and get an omelet. And I love that, and that's usually when I do get my, my omelet is at night. And what about in the morning? Does that mean I can have a burger for breakfast? You can come get a gigantic burger at 7.30 in the morning, and we will cook it for you happily. I love that idea. Now, I know we're going to talk about the food in just in, again in just a few minutes, but you do have beer and wine. So tell me, and I notice... Uh, Bloody, Bloody Mary. We do. We have, uh, we, do um, we have four different types of beer. We have Bud Light and Michelob. Ultra. Uh, we do have uh, two local beers. We have a Big Top IPA and we carry a Motorworks uh, Vienna style lager. Uh, we have champagne. We can do mimosas. We have uh, wine based vodka that allows us to do our Bloody Marys. A wine based vodka? That's really becoming a trend now, isn't it? It is. It is. People are finding that in multiple well, places. Well, I don't know where to even start. So I know we're going to come back and we'll just start over here and work our way around next to the Bloody Mary. So, Mark, you sit here with me. We'll guard the food and maybe share just a little bit. Sounds okay. good. Thank you. Guys, we'll be back in just a few minutes to tell you more. Well, it's time. Let's go into what it's really about. Let's start with Eggs Benedict. Absolutely. That's our San Francisco Benedict. So it's our toasted English muffin, Canadian bacon, a slice of tomato, a slice of an avocado, our poached egg, and our hollandaise sauce. I love it. Now, when I said I love salads, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is hilarious, and people from Pittsburgh are going to love it. They love that salad. That is our Pittsburgh steak salad. So it's our uh, house lettuce mix that we make. Um, and on top of that, we've got uh, french fries, uh, New York strip steak, crumbles of uh, blue cheese on top of that. Ruth Lando, that's for you. Now, I am not a meatloaf fan, but I have to tell you, your meatloaf is fantastic. And we make it from scratch. Those are one of the items that we featured on Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives when we did that. Um, we make our meatloaf, uh, like I said, it's homemade. So it's our meatloaf. We have red skin mashed potatoes, mm. and then we roast uh, zucchini and squash on our flat top. Comfort. And I like to have an omelet for dinner. So tell me about the omelet you chose. That's today. our Western omelet. That's probably our most popular omelet that we have. Um, it's got a little bit of ham, green pepper, mushrooms, onions, uh, and our nice fluffy omelet shell. Uh, a little bit of cheddar cheese in it, and then we put our salsa on top of it. And a biscuit. Nice big biscuit. Okay, this sandwich we featured on the Suncoast View when we were doing our bacon special. This is like pork on bacon on deliciousness. That is becoming probably our most popular sandwich that we have. That is our Big Burns fried pork tenderloin. So it's mm -hmm. fried pork. We have a Provel cheese, fried jalapenos. Uh, sauteed spinach, tomatoes, garlic aioli that we make, 
on a thick Chicago style bread. Now let's jump over to the stuffed French toast. That's our yohala on the square. Again, another one we did on uh, Triple D. Uh, it's our hala bread, which is a little sweet, uh, stuffed with cream cheese, uh, bananas, hazelnut syrup, a little bit of brown sugar. Uh, then it's dipped in French toast batter and grilled, and then a blueberry strawberry compote. Now we're on running top. out of time, but we've got to get to the chicken and waffles. That's our man. most popular one. That is our half a chicken. It's a breast, a wing, a thigh, and a drumstick. Our whole Belgian waffle, and we make a homemade strawberry butter. And then we have a sweet and spicy sauce that we make, which is our syrup. And then we add a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce, kind of right to it. And, and then that's for the chicken. And the, the sweet just and the nice. hot is just awesome. Let's go over to the huevos. That is our huevos rancheros, which are uh, tortilla chips. It's got two eggs on it, uh, black beans, onions, uh, um, green peppers, mozzarella cheese, cheddar cheese. It is. You've nailed it. And there are burgers, and there are healthy wraps, and there's so much more. So do yourself a favor. Come on over to Metro Diner. But I'm coming back with dessert in just a few. Now it seems funny, I just asked Mark, do many people have dessert? And he said, actually no, and I can understand why when you saw that great food. But think about, you might want to take a piece home because they have delicious strawberry shortcake with homemade pound cake. What a nice comfort dessert. And strawberries in Florida, we gotta do it. And a salted caramel cheesecake with whipped cream. I mean, it's just part of my job to make sure that it's as good as it looks. It's as good as it looks. Consider a piece home. Thanks to everybody at Metro Diner today. It's been such a delicious experience and so many kind, wonderful people sitting right behind me all over. Big fans of ABC, we're big fans of you too. So come on out to Metro Diner. Have breakfast for dinner, dinner for breakfast, or everything for lunch. I'll send it back to you guys. Have a safe weekend.